Hello, and welcome to this tutorial on where I will be showing you how to install Luma 3DS, which is a custom firmware, onto any, D any 3DS. It is recommended that you do this above a certain firmware, I believe 11.4, and for this tutorial you'll, be, you'll require a compatible flash card that is compatible with NTR boot. There are two types of flashcards. There's um, normal flashcards. There's a list of compatible flashcards down below, like the R4i RTS or R4i 3DS RTS that you need to flash to go into NTR boot. But there are other um, flashcards like the R4i Gold Plus uh, or Gold 3DS Plus, I should say that have a switch on the inside of the cartridge where you'd have to take the case off the cartridge and switch it, um, image on screen, and switch it to N or NTR boot mode. And that would require, that is a lot easier, but um, it can be done with either. For this tutorial, I'll obviously be using these, this arm um, R4i. And for the other one, it's easy. Some of the bits will have a overlay on it that will basically show you, that basically tell you that if you have the one with a switch, you don't need to do this step, or these few steps. The other thing you'll need is a magnet that is strong enough to activate the 3DS's sleep mode, like so. Now, if you have a 2DS, the old 2DS, that has a switch on it, you don't need a magnet. If you have a 2DS with a sleep switch, you don't need a magnet. Um, although you can use any magnet that you can buy. You can buy like those ones which are for magnetizing screwdrivers and, and so on. And they should be strong enough. So any magnet that is strong enough to activate the 3DS's sleep mode will be fine. This one I just pulled out of an old hard drive that broke. And um, this as to preview, I am on the latest firmware as of this recording of 11.6.0-39. I'm using a European 3DS, although this works on all 3DSs. And just to show you, if I exit and I put the flash card in, does currently show eventually on the home screen. Now what you need to do is obviously turn off your 3DS and eject, take out the SD card of your flash card and the SD card of your 3DS uh, here and pop them into your computer. So here's the 3DS SD card and here's the flash card SD card. Now in the description you'll have to download the NTR boot hacks uh, raw file or the NTR boot package file in the link in the video description. Uh, to open this you'll need either WinRAR or 7-zip. I'm using WinRAR. So all you have to do is open it, go to, to console SD card root and everything here goes to the console SD card, the 3DS SD card. Now, if your card has the um, switch, the NTR switch on it, you don't need to um, do this bit. But if your card is like mine and doesn't have that switch, then you'll need to go to to flash card root, and these files will have to go on the flash card root. Now, if your flash card does not use the uh, 
underscore ds underscore menu dot dat and underscore rpg uh, files for example mine uses the r4 dot dat and r4i menu uh, folders then you'll have to get the correct firmware for yours now go back in the boot hack in the raw file Go to flash card restore and then go to SD card root and copy both of these files to the root of your SD card. Like so. The last bit, go back and go to flash ROMs and choose the um, flash ROM that associates to your card. For example, mine is the RFRI SDHC 3DS RTS. So I go into that and copy the and uh, put the backup.bin file under NTR boot on your SD card. This will allow us to restore the flash card back to its original system and allow us to basically play DS games later on. Now put the 3DS SD card and flash card 3DS card back into your DS and flash card. like so. Now, Power on your 3DS. Open the flash card. That's notification came up. Now your main screen of your flash of your flash card may look different than mine. Um, whatever you, whatever your one looks like, I went to sleep. Whatever your one looks like, go to the game list and open the DS NTR boot flasher ROM. Now you should see this screen. Uh, press A to continue. Now, you'll have to use the up and down arrows of your uh, DS to select the right card from the list. As mine is the R4i SDHC family one, for example, my card is listed right there. You just have that one and then press A to confirm. Press A to inject NTR boot hacks. And then press A again to install the retail version. Now this will write the NTR boot hacks payload to the flash card. This may take a couple minutes, so just be patient. Now that it's complete, you can press the A button to uh, continue and then press B to exit. then just power down your console and now that you've either flashed into your boot or flipped the switch on your flash card and all you need to do is put it in and power on your 3DS 
if it's done successfully, when your console shows you the home screen, you should no longer see your flashcard on the home screen, like this, where it now says there's nothing in there. Don't worry, we'll be able to restore that later. The next thing we need to do is to find the sweet spot for our magnets. Obviously, if, as I said earlier, if you have the old 2DS, you don't need to worry about this. All you need to do is use the sleep switch on your 3DS. Uh, the sweet spot is different on each uh, type of 3DS. For example, on this 3DS, it is around there. On other 3DSs, it is either slightly higher, slightly lower. You'll have to try and find it. Now, back it away so your 3DS turns on. And now, turn off your console again. Hold X, start and select with your magnet in, its, in your 3DS's sweet spot. And power it on. When you let go, if you're successful, this screen should appear. If it has, then you will no longer need the magnet, so you can put that away. Now that this is shown, you can make sure that the text on the bottom screen is all green, similar to the way it is on mine. Now, all you need to do is press the combo keys displayed on the top screen to install NTR boot hacks. This doesn't take long. Now that that's completed, all you need to do is power down your uh, 3DS by pressing and holding the power button. Like so. And take out your SD card. Now you only need the SD card from the 3DS console. You don't need the one from the flash card. And put it back into your computer. Now, on your computer, in the ntrbootHacks.rar that you downloaded earlier, you should find a folder on the root of the RAR called Latest Luma 3DS. This is a, the Luma 3DS that we're going to be installing, and then we'll make sure it's up to date when we um, have finished installing Luma 3DS. What you need to do is copy this and paste it, or uh, move it to the root of your 3DS is SD card and when it asks you if you want to replace you just say yes. Now that you've done that you can eject that, the 3DS SD card and put it back in your 3DS. When you power on your 3DS, it will then say, at the bottom probably, it will probably depend and say boot from SD card, but on the top, which is the important bit, you'll have options that you need to make sure. This one's optional. You can enable, sm you can enable splash screens, um, which basically allows you to have a custom logo appear while the 3DS is loading. I usually have that set to before, and then that's just something you can do. You don't need to do that. But the thing that you should do is where it says show NAND or user string in system settings, make sure that has a cross in it. Once you've done that, you then press start to save and reboot. And that should then reload your 3DS. Now, if we open system settings, 
we should see the sys prefix in front of the version number. That means you've successfully installed Luma 3DS, but now we need to install the updater and all the apps that you need to basically use the custom firmware. To do this, you need to go to your DS download play. And press and hold L down and select and then the Rosalina menu will pop up you go to miscellaneous options switch the HB title to current app which basically means temporarily the homebrew app will be set to the DS download play icon on the home screen and once that's selected you can then press home Well, the first you need to press B a load of times to actually get out and close the DS download play and then open it again. That will then load up the homebrew channel, the homebrew launcher. Don't worry, your DS download play will be restored as soon as you reboot the console. So scroll down to see FBI and open that. And now that we have FBI open, we go to SD, CIAs, and then select current directory. And then select install and delete all CIAs. And then click yes to confirm. And it will then install and delete all of the CIAs in the uh, CIAs folder. Once that's done, you press A, we go back to the main bit, press start, and close. Unwrap all the now in newly installed uh, homebrew stuff. Now before we do anything else, I recommend you run DSP1, which allows you to basically have sound in custom homebrew stuff. Oops, hit the camera. You'll do some sort of test. And then once that's done, you just press B and it will delete itself, which is fine. So now that that's done, let's update uh, Luma 3DS. Obviously you need to have an internet connection set up for the 3DS. I have parental controls enabled for this account, for this um, 3DS, so as this will be my brothers, my baby brothers. As you can see, my version is different than the current version. Just make sure I will update to that version anyway. To confirm, you press A and X and it will update. Depending on your internet connection, this may take longer. Once that's done, you just press start to reboot. If for some reason the DS is not booting anymore, then you'll just have to put the SD card in the computer and rename the boot.firm.bak, I believe it is, and uh, once that's done, you'll be fine. Now that that's done, you've basically done that. If you have a, if you used the flashcard with a switch, you can just switch the switch back and you'll be able to then use the flashcard as a normal DS cartridge. For other people like me who have got the flashcard and it's been flashed to NTR boot for hacks, let's restore functionality to it. So we have to power down our DS. 
and then hold start and power on the DS. This will load up the chain loader. Select NTR boot flasher. This warning will come up, press A to continue. And then select the family or card that is in your list. Mine is an R4i SDHC family card. And then click restore flash. Now that that's done, you press A to return to the main menu and then just select Reboot. Your flash card should now appear on the home screen and if you open it, it should load successfully. If for some reason your flash card does not load or does not show up, try reflashing it again and making sure that you are selecting the correct firmware and you have put the correct firmware on the SD card because that does matter. Congratulations, you have finished the tutorial and now you can install custom apps, custom homebrew apps and play any game even if it's not your region. For example, with a loader, I can now play Japanese or American ROMs, uh, well, games on this European 3DS. Before doing too much with your newly hacked 3DS, it is recommended that you back up your uh, system NAND. Now to do this you hold start and power on your 3DS and then go to God Mode 9. This may come up where it asks you to back up essential files, just click A to confirm that and then click A to continue. If it comes up with the real time clock um, is wrong you can set it now There's that. Just remember, once you've done that, you'll have to change the system time on your 3DS back to the correct time, because that would most likely fast forward it by a couple, quite a few years. So now that you've done that, when you're on here, press uh, Home to open the menu. Go to Scripts. Back up SysNand. Now, it will ask you to create some stuff, just press A, and this will back up your system NAND. This may take a while. Okay, now that that's complete, you can press A to go back, and then just press, what you can do is you can hold R, and then press Start to turn off the DS. Then take out your SD card, put it in your computer, open the GM9 folder, go to out, and then these files, especially the sysnam bin files, you want to put those in a safe place.
that way if something was to go wrong with your 3DS you can restore to a backup. If this helped leave a like down below and a comment. I will try to help anyone who needs it. Thanks for watching.